What's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in for another video here at Domestic Automotive Authority. Today I'm going to go over a couple features on this Kia and show you how to use the smart cruise control feature and how it practically drives itself. All right guys, so we're pulling out on the interstate here and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to let this car drive itself. So you'll see these buttons right here with the steering wheel and it looks like two lanes. So you'll go ahead and press it and you'll have to wait for the steering wheel to pop up green. And then it'll literally drive itself. Okay, so to switch lanes, you do have to use the blinker or it'll try to pull you back over. And you still can uh, do your own driver input. Let's get over here. So the steering wheel turns white on the dash there. And then as soon as it turns green again, you can let your hands off of it. Now I don't have the cruise control set. I'm using all the acceleration on the pedal with my foot. So, But you can obviously see it is driving itself right now. And it will remind you to put your hands on the wheel every now and then, which isn't too big of a deal. But it's definitely a neat feature. So to go over, like I say, you just use your blinkers and then wait for the steering wheel icon to turn green again. And then there you go, hands free. So I'm gonna get off the lane right here. And I honestly don't think it will drive itself on this. Oh, didn't wanna let me get over. So it's flashing. We'll see if it makes this turn because I honestly don't think it will. <laughs> so I don't think it responds well with the yellow lines. We'll say that's what it was. Then we'll merge over here again. Now here it does, it only picks up the lines. So even on the hashes, it'll do it just not as good. And whenever you do go through an intersection at a red light, you'll probably wanna put your hands on the wheel because you can't really tell what it's gonna do. <laughs> so even right here, it'll pick this up and it'll try to pull you over into the, basically like a little exit lane. And then you can see there's no lines right here. So it kind of guesses for a minute and then it does take you back. And then we're gonna go through this intersection and it does it okay, but it's not, it's not necessarily a Tesla. And we'll see if it makes this curve because the lines are pretty, pretty rough. So the steering wheel turned uh, gray right there. So you do have to get back on the wheel yourself. But now it is green again, so you can take your hands off of it. But right up here, there's no lines. So I don't know if it'll really pick it up. So you have to do it yourself. Certainly no Tesla, but it's definitely a big step for Kia. What do you think, Harrison? What's your thoughts? Certainly no Tesla. Certainly no Tesla. Oh, look at the pickup. So getting back on this curvy road right here. This car sucks, man. <laughs> you can see that it's driving itself around like a decent curve. But as Harrison pointed out, uh, if you're going around a deep curve, you should probably put your hands on the wheel. Uh, you don't really know what's gonna happen. Even going through a little intersection like this right here, it kind of gets a little squirrely. Uh, like I say, it does tell you to put your hands on the steering wheel every now and then, like I guess it's every 30 seconds, just to make sure you're not sleeping. But, so we got construction here on the side and it kind of messes with the reading on it. It can't really pick it up. But anytime you're above 30 miles an hour, it will steer itself. I, I just don't know why they would design a car that keeps in the lane but won't go around curves because then it's unpredictable. Yeah, it's definitely unpredictable. So then it's like it doesn't even matter. But it does matter, man. Look at this. It's driving itself. And Harrison thinks that it's not cool. But it is cool. I just don't give it a good rating as far as so, what it does. In terms of a comparison with the other import brands that have this feature, how do you feel that it compares? 
the steering wheel is tighter as far as like when it's staying in the lane, but going around curves, Hondas, Nissans, they'll go around, like they'll probably want to go around this curve. Let's see. It. it made it. Okay. Oh, okay. no. <laughs> So you're just saying it's less predictable. It's less predictable. It would you say it's less safe? Well, no, because you're supposed to have your hands on the wheels anyway. You oh, know what I'm saying like, but let's see if it takes this curve. Nope. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for tuning in for another video. If you have any comments, any suggestions, please leave them down below. If you haven't already like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. But until then, take it easy.